President Trump finally condemned hate groups by name, the KKK, neo-Nazis, and other racist organizations, 48 hours after the attack in Charlottesville. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence. It has no place in America. But a day later, President Trump doubled down on his original comments about Charlottesville, blaming both sides again. I watched those very closely, much more closely than you people watched it. And you have, uh, you, you had a group on one side that was bad, and you had a group on the other side that was also very violent. That is important because his initial statements actually emboldened hate groups. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides, on many sides. Here's why words matter. This is how Andrew England, one of the most vile, racist, neo-Nazi leaders, interpreted President Trump's comments. Trump's comments were good. He didn't attack us. He just said the nation should come together. Nothing specific against us. When asked to condemn, he just walked out of the room. Really, really good. God bless him. Now, England is not the only one who is racist and speaking up for Trump. After the president spoke for the third time on Charlottesville, he got a reaction from former KKK leader David Duke thanking him. In the past, President Trump has disavowed David Duke and what he stands for. But the president's vague initial comments actually gave fuel to the white supremacy fires, if you will. Their movement took it this way. Hail victory. And to everyone know this, we are now at war and we are not going to back down. There will be more events soon.